Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ness. Today I'm gonna do a quick shoes review, a pair of wannabe from Clark's Original. And as usual, I'm gonna share with you guys my three different looks I create to go with these shoes. Let's go. So this is the packaging of the Clark's Original Wallaby. Uh, this is my first time ever that I purchased everything from Clark's brand. So let's get straight into the shoe. This is the shoe Wallaby. I think the execution wise is pretty good. The most iconic detail on these shoes is uh, the, I would say this is the square toe. Personally, I think these shoes is very ugly, but recently, uh, on the street, I've seen a lot of people wearing them and I just want to try them out, you know. I think I can rock them pretty good too. So that's why I bought these to do the review and also styling with this pair of shoes. The packaging wise, I think it's pretty neat from the outside to the inside of the shoes. Uh, because if you see right here, they actually have some reinforcement to keep the shape well on this products uh, clocks done pretty good job they have the piece of paper to hold the shape of the shoes on uh, the back and also the toe of the shoes so that is pretty nice you know attention to detail I like this this is actually my first time that since this kind of packaging on the shoe you see also there's a uh, protections piece of paper protections on the insole and the insole is not removable it's more like a dress shoes very similar to the dress shoes because the insole is only the halfway in the heel area that has cushioning and all the way in the back is basically is cardboard i don't know if you can see it but let me try to you see, there's the only half of the insole which has cushioning in uh, the back. So this is the very classic construction. Um, I really love a couple detail on these shoes. Is first, it's a rubberized natural rubber outsole. I really like this rubber because when I was studying footwear design, I actually used this rubber to erase some of the marking. This is, can be the eraser for you as well. Also, it's very flexible and uh, durable and very easy to repair the shoes too. This natural rubber, they come out with a sheet, right? They basically just cut a piece of the rubber uh, from that sheet to cement it in the heel because usually people worn out around the heel or you can like, just take out the entire piece of this outsole. You know, they can just replace a new piece of it. Uh, I don't think that's going to be expensive because majority the shoot repair around your neighborhood, they have that kind of natural rubber sheet. Anyway, you can buy it. Go to the footwear supplier. You can buy that sheet as well. Make your own shoes if you will. And uh, the material on this is suede material, it look premium, very nice, thick, very durable, um, doesn't need really the enforcements. The suede material that they use on this upper is look premium to me. It's just not really my aesthetic and the color. I got this color because this is like the most original color on uh, the Wallaby. And um, I talk about this kind of detail before, right? Um, on the upper and uh, the edge of the outsole is very hard to line up and also like if you don't line up well properly it's gonna see the stains just like uh, this right here you can see slightly the right and the left is off a little bit to me like when I buy some products it's gotta be like on point but this is like off a little bit even in the toes as well you can tell I don't know if you can tell that, but this right here on the toes in the left is slightly pointier compared to the right. So the right is more like rounded, right? 
However, the stitching on this is on point. Every single stitches is very nice and neat, very clean. It doesn't look like a crooked. I'm very picky on the stitching part too because like you pay for this product. You gotta be like everything have to be perfect. Even though the shoes is very classic, what can you innovate it? The shoes better is by better executions. Execution is everything, you know, it's ideas, easy to come out, but execution is another different story. And let's go into the lining. Well, basically the shoes doesn't have lining. This is like one piece of the leather because the leather is so tough. This is the, the front, the top part of the leather, and this is the back part. So there's no really using the lining on this. They have kind of like a little bit small lining piece that in the heel area, like a sway texture. This is very useful because um, it's prevent heel slip and also it's molded to your feet over time when you wear them for your ankle support as well. And um, the lining for the insole that they use is pretty nice too. It's feel premium. Um, I just love the burgundy color. I don't know if it's brown or burgundy color on this kind of insole. And also they have gold screen print on uh, the insole. Let's see if the shoes is where it came from. Oh, it's made in Vietnam. That's where it came from. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that because this is my first time to own a product from Clocks. And also the shoes offer you extra laces. This is the extra laces, wax laces, uh, black colorways. Um, me, I really like wax, black laces, but the thing is on for these shoes, it doesn't really go well in my opinions. Um, the tonal laces, I think it's already look good for these Clocks. Wallaby and also the tonal laces original have the kind of like metal egglet. Um, the one that extra laces that it gives you, it just have the piece of plastic. The right, they have two pieces of triangle, it kind of remind me of tassel, um, piece of leather. Um, the first one is say clocks original embossed with like gold and also deboss on this wallaby the name of it and turn back side down you can see like the inside is the piece of lining so this is just one piece right it's the same as as i say before as a lining it's soft whenever you see a shoe that they make um, doesn't have the lining, that means the leather is tough enough, they already been tested. And I've seen a lot of people that leave this two piece triangle on their shoes, they didn't take it out. It looked pretty cool and looked stylish. I like this kind of additional detail on this pair of clocks, um, Wallaby. So there you have it. This is my review on a pair of clocks, Wallabies. And up next, I'm gonna share with you guys how I personally like to style this.
So there you have it. This is my review on a pair of wannabe from Clarks Original. They have some other brand out there as well, but to me, Clarks done pretty good job so far. So good because the execution and the craftsmanship on this is very good for the price that you pay for. And also, what do you think about the three looks that I create to go with these shoes? I'm kind of nervous a little bit because I don't know what to expect to wear with these shoes. I never really own a pair, and I see a lot of people rock pretty good. You know, pretty decent style. And I see a lot of people rocking these shoes, pretty decent style on the street as well. So that's why I want to get myself a pair to see how good I am with this style, styling with this pair of particular shoes. And if you like one of the look I create in this video, comment below in the comment sections. And if you like this video, how I review this shoes, Give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can wait to share with you guys. I'm out.